happened? I told you to clean that up. Alright, let's go over what you're going to need to build this kayak stand. Uh, I'm going to put all the dimensions and the parts list and the cut list in the description box below. So all you're going to need is some electrical PVC conduit. You're going to need a few sticks of that and you're going to need 24 of the inch and a half white PVC tees. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the tools you're going to need to get this done. Alright, let's go over the tools that you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need a tape measure, you're going to need a PVC pipe cutter. I have the ratcheting type, but you could use a hacksaw or miter saw or hot butter knife, whatever you got. Uh, you're going to need something to mark the pipe with, and of course you're going to need your trusty can of Dr. Pepper. Now the reason why we're using the gray PVC is because others on YouTube who have built this say that it's stronger, a little more rigid than the white PVC. Even though they're both Schedule 40, I think this may make a stronger rack and hold your kayaks quite a bit better as well as being more stable once you get them up there. Alright, now let's talk about the cutters. The cutters need to be strong, sturdy. That's boring. You're boring everybody. Quit boring everyone. Alright, let's put this thing together. To determine how long you need to make your cross pieces, you need to measure the width of your kayak. I made mine 36 inches because my kayak is almost it's about 32 inches. All right, now that you have all your pieces cut, let me show you how to put this together. You're gonna take your T, you're gonna take your long piece, you're gonna put it in the middle of the T, just like that. You're gonna do the same to the other end. You're gonna make two of these. Now if you cross piece, you're going to need to add a couple of your couplers, your three inch couplers. One in there, one in there. Another couple of T's facing inward. And then get your cross piece. This is determined by the width of your kayak. We're going to do the same on the other end, and then we're just going to build up three levels. Alright, when you get your first level done, this is when you want to put your uprights in. Just put them in the four corners. These are the 20 inch pieces. And you start building the same level again right on top of here. So once you get done, you should have something that looks like this. You're going to have two extra 20 inch pieces. Those go on the top right here. This is to prevent your top kayak from falling off. Now the only thing left to do is put the kayaks on the rack. So let's go get them.
Uh-huh.